Hello Capricorn and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you so much for joining me for your Libra season astro tarot reading. So this is a general tarot reading meant for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus and or rising. So please only go with the messages that resonate with you. Now for more messages, I would recommend that you check out the other astrological signs that correspond with your natal sun, moon, Venus, and or rising. So we kick off Libra season on Thursday, September 22nd, when the sun enters Libra at 9.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, welcoming in the autumn equinox or Mabon. And we continue into Libra season um, until Sunday, October 23rd, when the sun then enters Scorpio at 6.36 a.m., again, Eastern Standard Time. So please adjust to your time zone. I do want to also mention that on Thursday, September 22nd, when the sun enters Libra, we are going to have that Mercury retrograde conjunct with that Libra Sun. So this is going to bring some clarity to uh, some kind of conversation or communication or contracts. The following day on September 23rd, Mercury is going to slide back into Virgo, bringing attention to your body, health, and well-being. I also want to mention that just before we come into Libra season, on Tuesday, September 20th, the moon is going to be in Cancer in the last quarter. And Cancer is your opposing sign. And this might be a good time to do a body purification and soul cleanse, whatever feels right. You know, just clearing out some... Uh, negative energies, getting rid of things that no longer serve you, uh, perhaps adjusting your diet or doing a fasting before the autumn equinox. Now, Libra is about balance between partnerships. It wants things to be equal and fair. And those partnerships can run anywhere from friends and family, to work, and your colleagues. So Libra is an air sign. So we're going to check in with Voice of the Trees to see what messages might be there for you. And we start with the hazel inspiration and wisdom. Okay, you have learned some lessons here, Capricorn. And um, I really feel that you are doing uh, a revision. You know, you're, you're reconsidering where you're at in the current phase of your life at this time. And you're finding inspiration in the autumn, in the autumn colors. You're feeling the shift and change of the seasons, and this is uh, exciting for you. Okay, next we have on Sunday, September 25th, the new moon in Libra occurring at 12.43 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. And this is about new beginnings. Uh, what are you starting? And Cancer rules the house, um, the fourth house, which is the home. And again, Cancer is your opposing sign. So keep that in mind. Okay, and we have for you the new moon in cancer you and your loved ones are safe so if you've been feeling insecure about your home or about your safety know that things are going to 
start feeling more stable because Capricorn, you rule the skeletal system. You need to have structure and stability in your life. And that includes feeling safe. Okay, on October 2nd, which is Sunday, Mercury goes direct at 5.07 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So things are going to start moving forward. This is probably when you're going to feel inspired. You're going to feel wisdom. Something clicked. You have an epiphany. So then on Sunday, October 9th, a week later, we have the full moon in Aries at 4.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's see what messages we have for you there. And we have, oh, look at that, the full moon in Cancer. Let your fears dissolve because you and your loved ones are safe. Okay, this might have something to do with setting up a security system around your home so that you feel safe. And then with that security system in place, your fears can then dissolve. Uh, you have learned many lessons. And in that wisdom, you are now being inspired. A new path is opening up for you. So let's go into the tarot a little bit deeper here. I also want to mention that on Saturday, October 22nd and the 23rd, depending on your time zone, and also keep in mind, Libra season ends on October 23rd when the sun enters Scorpio at 6.36 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But on Saturday, October 22nd, Saturn, your ruling planet, is going direct. It's in Aquarius, but it's going direct at 9.07 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're on the West Coast, you're going to experience the Saturn direct shift on October 22nd. If you're on the East Coast, though, you're going to experience the Saturn Direct on October 23rd, Sunday, at 12.07 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, again, it'll occur just after the sun goes into Scorpio, if you're on the East Coast, because the sun goes into Scorpio early in the morning there. So let's check out your tarot and see what kind of impact this is going to have on you. Okay, drop some cards. I have to pick up. Okay, this one flipped up, so I feel like that it's for you. It's the Three of Swords. This is you not feeling safe. Uh, there is some kind of betrayal here. Um, and it could be, you know, a roommate that you have to let go. I don't know what your situation is. This could also have to do with work because a lot of time where we work is kind of like our second home in many ways. So there is something here that... Uh, you feel like you kind of got stabbed in the back or you were made into the scapegoat. And somehow this, there could also be some threats because we do have this, you know, not really feeling safe, but you're getting that reassurance that you are safe and those fears are dissolving. Just as the light, just as this, is dissolving into light so too will your fears and be transformed into the light okay then we continue on with strength yeah you're going to be 
in a much stronger position because you feel safe and when you feel safe you feel strong and here we have the world uh, your accomplishments you reclaim your power you get the credit that you deserve for your work that you did uh, here we have the knight of pentacles because the pentacles do have to do with work and this shows that you have a special skill you specialize in something and it could be something that nobody else can do and that is your strength and you are being recognized for that ability <clears throat> then we have the page of cups or chalices and this shows you celebrating this is you getting inspired because I feel like now that you've had you have this recognition and you can move forward, especially with Mercury going direct and then your ruling planet going direct, you're going to feel really strong, really inspired. And you have learned your lessons here with the Eight of Pentacles through, you know, you may have repeated some of those mistakes, but each time improving until you reach that state of wisdom and you're like okay now I've got this and you can let your fears dissolve things are going to start getting much better for you and it will happen quickly okay let's look at some more tarot here for you Get some clarification on these other tarot cards. Okay, so we start with, oh, the devil with this three of swords. Yeah, somebody was being deceptive, dishonest, trying to control you. Next, we have the queen of cups. And you kind of felt like something was wrong. This was your intuition. Something was telling you within you. And it it was a very strong feeling that something is not right. And you had the strength and confidence. You were brave enough to bring it to the attention of somebody who could do something about it. And this is where you're being recognized. The world, they're like, oh, thank you. You know, this could be somebody that was, you know, doing bad business, uh, perhaps stealing from the business, embezzlement, um, not keeping their contracts. These are the things that are coming up with the Mercury retrograde. But you caught it. You felt like uh, something's not right here, and you investigated. And here we have the Three of Cups. You are being celebrated and recognized. Then we have the Star. Yeah, you can get your dream job here. Uh, that which you have been wishing and hoping for to manifest is finally going to begin manifesting especially with that saturn your ruling planet going direct at the end of libra season then we have the page of wands yeah you are super inspired and you are full of ideas uh, there is some higher learning and there's some excitement and celebration here with these two pages, the page of cups and the page of wands, there is excitement. And then you have the ace of cups, the healing cup. You are safe. You can let your fears dissolve and let go. Um, and with this eight of cups, you finally have, maybe you've uh, completed an apprenticeship because we do have this Knight of Pentacles with this Eight of Pentacles, which could be that you were uh, 
in like a trade school learning a trade or you're finally getting your certification, your diploma, your degree. This is a general reading, so it'll be different for each of you. Okay, let's look at the witch's wisdom. You did get the wisdom card after all, so let's see what wisdom is is being revealed to you at this time, Capricorn. Okay, oh, we have a hand fasting with union. Okay, there could be a wedding here. Uh, this could also have something to do with contracts, uh, signing a business contract. Um, where you're going to become, perhaps you got partnership in a firm. There is a union here. And then we have the cloak, the concealment. Okay. I almost feel like these two should be the other way around because with the cloak and concealment, it kind of goes more with this devil card and the three of swords, the betrayer. Somebody was trying to conceal something from you. And because you were able to bring it to attention, you receive this recognition. It's almost like you create a position for yourself. And then there's this union. Perhaps this new job or new contract enables you to get married, to have this marriage because here we do have you and your loved ones are safe and then your fears are dissolving and it could be in that partnership that your fears dissolve now this could also be astrologically speaking because as i mentioned cancer is your polar opposite on the astrological wheel and when we have the star here it also tells me, check out your natal chart, what is going on with your natal chart and with the current planet transitions. Because there is something powerful that is going to be happening. And I wouldn't be surprised if it has something to do with Saturn, your ruling planet, going direct. Okay, one more card for you we will close out your reading the balancing of your heart and soul okay. it's too many cards here is your artwork and it says within the transcendental realm of your soul there are endless universes each inconceivably vast and at the same time inconceivably small even in the tiniest particle of subatomic matter there is endless expansion Creation is a cosmic motion picture in which you are both director and actor. Look within and express outwardly the endless waves of love within you. May your love embrace the earth and fill all creation. Wow. Because we have the world card here with the three of cups. There is celebration of love. We have the union, the hand fasting. We have this ace of cups, which could be a marriage cup where you sip from the same cup to become union, to bring yourselves together. And then we have this celebration. So it seems like that there's two different things that you're dealing with or more than two different things. It seems like that there's some work stuff that you're dealing with 
and that work stuff has made your relationship with the one you love complicated, but that's going to get cleared up. So I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it helpful and beneficial. I appreciate your likes and subscribes because you do help this channel to grow. And until next time, take care.